Hi, stampers. So I want to go over real quick the basics of um, what I use for color pencil coloring um, on stamped images. And then we're going to do, hopefully, a quick comparison of the Prisma color pencils versus the Arteza colored pencils. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about is your supply. So you want to use a good quality paper. Um, I do like watercolor paper, um, but I also like Bristol Smooth, uh, Nina Solar White, or Stampin' Up! Whisper White paper because it's a real smooth paper and I think it blends out pretty easily. But you got to do your own experimenting. Just like with stamping, certain papers are better with certain mediums. So definitely try out your different papers and quality of inks. I usually like to stamp my image out with VersaFine ink because it's a nice dark black pigment ink. You just want to heat set that real quick or let it set off to dry so that you don't smear the ink when you start to get into um, the coloring with the color pencils. All right, so the tools that I use when I'm doing my color pencil coloring are obviously color pencils, um, Gamzol. Now, I have shown this bottle before. This is Gamzol from Inky Antics. I like this bottle because it the dauber top makes it really easy to put your blending stump in and get the blending stump saturated with Gamzol, as you can see there. And um, if you would knock this over, it's not going to spill out. Now, if you don't have that and you have access to your local art supply store, um, it's actually distributed by Inky Antics, but it's Gamblin Artist Oil Colors um, Quality Gamzel. So this is 100% odorless mineral spirits. It is still combustible, so you want to make sure that you are using it in a well-ventilated area and keep it away from kids. So this bottle, I want to say, is somewhere between $10 to $12, and it is an open-top bottle. Now, if you don't want to spill it, another option you have is just to put it in an extra bottle and then put cotton balls inside and fill it up. So what will happen then is your gamsels in there. You can dip your blending sponge in there, your blending stump in there, sorry, and you don't have to worry about this getting knocked over and spilling because it's all absorbed into the cotton ball there. So I have this labeled. I have an extra set of color pencils here. Now blending stumps you can pretty much pick up anywhere. I have some extra ones in here. These are the Artist Loft brands. This whole bag had all of these in here, which there were 10 pieces. And I want to say it was around $6, and I used a coupon at Michael's. So I got them for 3 bucks for a whole bunch. Now, I have an extra box of Prismacolor pencils here. This is this 36 box. Um, some blending stumps and some gamsel because it was my sister's birthday yesterday so I am giving a shout out to her hi Kelly this is your birthday present I will be dropping those off to you so all right moving on I want to compare the Prismacolor pencils to the Arteza pencils so in terms of packaging this is the 72 color prismacolor premier pencils i got these online on amazon for around 40 dollars um, i also came with a very nice sharpener this is the prismacolor sharpener i did see this sharpener in michael's today for around three bucks so it is out there it's very easy to get the Prismacolor pencils in the big box stores are normally very pricey. Um, the small box that I just showed you, the 36, I know is normally at AC Moore for around, I want to say close to $50. Um, they did have a sale earlier in the year and I was able to get them for a lot less. But usually they are very pricey because they are considered a, a premium quality color pencil. Um, 72 case I got on Amazon. It does have the list of the colors on the back. It has a nice description of them being very quality pencils. Um, there's a guarantee and these were made in Mexico, I believe. Yeah, made in Mexico. Now from what I've heard, I have not had this issue yet is that Prismacolor pencils are very soft with their lead. Now I don't know if these are made, if these are oil based or wax based for either of these. I'll have to do some research for you guys on that. But the Prismacolor pencils are very soft. They do go down very easy. And I know a lot of artists prefer them because they're easy to work with and they're easy to blend with the Gamsel. They do come in these nice plastic trays, but I will show you that I have moved mine to a pencil case. So I'll show you that in just a second. Now, the Arteza quality pencils also come in a nice tin. The lid does not lift off. It folds back. So 
um, depending if you like that or not. It also comes in these plastic trays, which I would also recommend moving them to some kind of a pencil case. They are, I will show you the pencils side by side so we can physically look at the differences here. So here's my little pencil case, which I got at Blick Art Store. Oops. But again, you can find pencil cases on Amazon as well. So just to show you a comparison of the pencils. Okay, so both pencils actually um, show the name of the color. So both of these coincidentally are, coincidentally are called Carmine Red. Um, the, uh, the Arteza number for them is A049 and then there are these two plus marks. Now I'm going to assume that these plus marks mean light fastness or opacity. I have not tried um, to look that up yet to let you know. And then the Prismacolor pencil has this triangle which I think all of the pencils do. Um, and then again it has the number on there. And I'm actually going to leave these two out because they're the same name. We'll see how that works out. So, um, again, nice bright colors with the Arteza pencils. And, again, with the packaging, if I turn this over, the tin has the names of or the color swatches, the codes, and then it has the names, which I thought was pretty neat, where the Prismacolor did not have the names on them. Again, a nice qual um summary of the pencils being artist quality and these were shipped from distributed by Wilmington Delaware which is more local and these were made in PRC which is People's Republic of China which is also um, Taiwan so um, in terms of packaging I think that they're relatively the same the physical aspects of the pencil seem to be relatively the same but I know you guys are going to want to see some coloring going on so actually I'm going to grab a couple of colors here so we can do some comparisons. And again, I know that the names might be similar. That doesn't always mean it's going to be the same color. They are two different companies, two different brands. So I'm just going to try to grab what I think would be similar shades. And I might be off, but we'll try it here. Yeah. Alright, so I have a red, a green, and a yellow that we're going to try out here. Let me just move these out of the way. So I was practicing with them yesterday a little bit. And... What I notice, which I will see if it's the same thing here, is um, the Prisma color for what I picked out was a little bit brighter in color. And in terms of putting down the color, was a little um, smoother for me. Um, but I will say from a price standpoint and a comparison standpoint, if I had not had Prisma color pencils and I could only get Arteza, they worked fine for what I want to do with them. I'm not a professional artist. I just color in stamped images like you see here. And if I had not had these pencils, I would honestly think um, that I would be too. I would be great with the Arteza pencils. And I want to. I want to explain that. Um, Yes, the Prismacolors are nice. If you have Prismacolors, stick with your Prismacolors. But from a price standpoint, if you do not have colored pencils now, I think you get more for your money with the Arteza pencils. Now, they are a little bit lesser expensive, and I would say they're not as high of a quality, but they're not bad. Um, I would say they're very, very good for their price point, and that is their whole motto with their company is they want to give... Um, artist quality at a reasonable price point. So I think spending $100 on color pencils is a little excessive unless you are an artist, a student, or you're going to be using them all the time in your lifestyle. But it's your money. You spend it any way you want. I like to be a little more practical when it comes to my money, especially since this is a hobby for me. And if the Arteza pencils had come out before I got my Prismacolors, I would have never bought Prismacolors. So that's just my two cents on it. Um, but I want to show you guys a demonstration. What I was doing here was just coloring it out solid, blending it in, blending it, and then coloring in with Gamzel. So we're just going to play around with it here and see what we get. 
And I'm just using very generic um, watercolor um, paper, by the way. So I'm going to ink up the two images again. And this is just the large hibiscus stamp from Creative Vision Stamps. Because I know you guys will ask me. And by the way, Arteza did send me these pencils to try out. Um, so I will put the link for everything here. The pencils, the gamsel, the stamp. If you guys want to look at these, I'll also put the link on Amazon. If you think you're going to be more interested in the Prismacolors. But I wanted you to see me play around with them. I am actually going to turn on the overhead light here. Hopefully there's not too much of a glare. It's a little brighter for us. I hope everybody is having a good summer vacation. I know my kids are excited. One is excited to be out of school. He is now going to be going into the seventh grade. And sweet Leah is going to be going into kindergarten this year. So this is her last summer um, before starting school. So we've gone fishing. We've gone to the local amusement park. We've had a lot of fun already this summer. All right, I'm going to real quick... Actually, no, I'm not. I was going to put my heat tool to it, but I unplugged it and put it away. So we will just put that aside. So I'm just going to, while that dries, compare the colors here. I will put Arteza on this side and Prismacolor on this side. Now, these pencils do come with kind of this blunt tip if you want to sharpen it obviously you would sharpen it the prisma colors come with a small tip which again you would sharpen so i mean putting laying down the color i don't really see too much of a difference i think it depends on the the pigment And I'm going to try layering too and see how that comes out. I didn't do enough of that when I was playing around with them. Oh, I just colored that over there. Whoops. Never mind. I do feel like the Arteza pencils are wax base. Um, it feels like I need to like put a little more pressure. I mean, it's not like, oh, I got to bear down any weight on it. But it's just not as smooth as the Prismacolor. So I don't know if that's because I think the Prismacolors are oil-based. I don't know that they are wax-based. I'll have to find out for you. I'm going to move these and separate them so I don't mix them up anymore. And you can see the color goes down pretty easily. I do need to press a little bit. That's okay. And you can go a little bit lighter hand. Let's see how we can layer this up, how dark we can get this. So in terms of brightness and laying down colors, they're really similar with the colors that I picked. I don't even think I need this one. Let's see here. Let's try to layer. The red goes right on top of that yellow, no problem, but... All right, let's try this side. Layers darker on top of light, no problem. Light on top of dark. Eh, you can kind of see it. 
I think we really need to get in with the Gamsel and blend it to see if it's going to do anything. So side by side comparison, guys, I don't notice a huge difference other than I think the Prismacolors do go down a little bit smoother is the best way I can say that. They do feel like they are a little bit softer lead in terms of brightness. I don't know. I think they're about the same. I think if I just like I did here, if I colored the images side by side, I don't know that you would really notice a difference. I think that they are both very bright colors. All right, so let's just color in and do some blending here. And I'm not going to bore you with a whole video on coloring because I'm not really that good at it anyway. I'm going to try to get this colored in and blend it out. And we'll see how they shade. So let me grab Gamsel and a blending stump. And I kind of went really light handed here because I want to go back in and add some shading by adding some darker red. I really believe the secret to coloring with color pencils is using the Gamsol and blending it. It takes away all of those pencil lines so it looks like you colored it in with a marker. And now I'm going to blend some of that red into the yellow and see if we can get a nice orange in the middle there where it meets. It moves. And it's pretty much the same results I got yesterday, but I, what I wanted to do that I didn't do yesterday was to go back in and darken these veins in a little bit and give it a little bit more deeper color towards the center here where it would be. Layer it up a little bit. Not bad. Okay, now let's try the same thing with the Prismacolors. And I'm going to sharpen this. And the way I sharpen my color pencils is to turn the sharpener, not the pencil. You want to hold it straight so that you're not breaking your lid, I mean, your lead. There we go. So again, I'm just going to go in with a light hand and lightly color that in. Yeah, I, I do feel like there's a little bit more pigment coming out of the Prismacolor. It's just softer. That's the best way for me to describe it. It really wants to come out. It's almost like a super juicy marker. I don't know that that's an advantage. I guess it depends on how you color. So I'm just putting a light coat down there. We're going to go in with the yellow again and do the edges. All right, and let's go in with the Gamsel. Blend that out.
All right, I'm gonna go back in with the red and deepen down the veins a little. I don't know, guys. This is a tough one. This is a tough, tough call. They both look pretty equal to me in vibrancy. So this would be the Prismacolor. I hope the light is picking up okay on there. This is the Arteza. I, I really honestly just think that if you have Prismacolors, like I said, they're very nice, but they are more expensive price point. If you are just starting out or you don't do color pencil coloring every day, I think you could get away with using the Artezas and saving yourself some money. Um, that's my personal thought on it. I do want to thank the people of Arteza for sending these out for me to try them. Um, I don't know if they'll be providing with a discount code for you guys. I can certainly ask um, for a discount code for you guys. I know that their website does show right now that they have free shipping. So... I don't know. I think if I, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to continue coloring. Let's see if we do a side by side here, if you can tell the difference with mixing the pencils up. We mix our Copic markers up. Why can't we mix our colored pencils up? You don't have to be just using one tool in your arsenal. Maybe you have some colors in one kit and you want to get some other colors. The Prismacolor pencils, I know they do sell individual colors as well. I don't know if they do that with the Artezas. That is a really close call. Really close call. So here, this is the Prismacolor one. This is the Arteza one. Side by side. That's that's a tough call, guys. It, it really is. I, I'm very impressed with the Arteza pencils, I gotta say. I love my Prismacolors, but these Artezas are really giving them a run for their money. So that's my review. If you don't have... Prisma color pencils, you're just starting out, you only want to do color pencil coloring occasionally, you might want to check them out. It's really not that different, in my opinion. And I'm not a professional artist, I just color in stamped images. So there you go, guys. If you have any questions, post them below. Thanks for watching, and keep on stamping. Bye!